if you were to be dealing with a quarter of a circle, we have to repeat pretty much the same thing, except instead of a half of a circle, we are looking at a quarter. We're going to have to imagine that we still have the rest of the circle there. And each of these quarters of a circle or quadrants are equal. So this one's equal to this one is equal to this one is equal to this one. I'm going to go with my formula P equals 2 pi R, but because that would tell me the entire outside of the shape, I need to work on just finding out what a quarter of that is. So I'm going to divide that by 4. Again, that will just tell me what this section is. So I'm going to need to be able to factor in these two parts of this shape as well. And both of these, because they go from the center point of that circle out to the edge, I know that that is my radius. So I'm going to go in and plus 2r, which means 2 times that r value. I'm going to say that that is 5 centimeters. So r equals 5 centimeters there. To calculate through 2 times pi times because I already know that that's down there, divided by 4 plus 2 times 5, which again is still that blue section and that green section. Using my calculator, 2 times pi times 5 equals 31.4159 divided by 4 plus 2 times 5 is 10. Still going, 31.4159 divided by 4 gives us 7.853. Um, actually, we'll round that up to 854 plus 10. So I've got still blue there to show that outside part of the shape and green there showing me the value of the two radius lines. 7.854 plus 10 is 17.854, but I only want two decimal places. That 4 isn't going to round it up, so 0.85. Dealing in centimeters, so the perimeter of that quarter circle is 17.85 because we've taken into account that 7.85 of the outside plus the two radius lines that add to 10. So 17.85 centimeters for that quarter circle.